Hey, and welcome to the delayed live stream of Marrakesh 2016. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Naomi Fulker. How are you doing, Naomi? Hi, Wells. I'm all right. Yeah, okay, so we're going we're gonna to watch the four gold medal matches from Marrakesh this weekend. Uh, we didn't live stream there due to internet issues, but we're going to live stream it for you now. First up is Danelle Vensel versus Marcella Tonioli in the compound women's match. Did you watch this? No. No. Did you watch the scores? I watched some of them a little bit delayed, not all of them live. Do you remember what happened? No. That's good. So it's like the first time you've ever seen it. We'll go with that. <laughs> So you'll have to excuse the start of this match. Uh, I was actually on the on the TV controls and I was rubbish to start with. You were rubbish at what? At the TV controls. Are you choosing the cameras? Yeah, I think we get the wrong target. I actually, I actually, in my little shortcuts, put TV one. Uh, target one is target two, and target two is target one. Yes, so right. I was utterly confused. Anyway, match begins. Um, Danelle Vensel shooting first from South Africa and quite young. What do you know about her? I don't know anything. Sorry. <laughs> she shot uh, a nine to open the match, Marcella Sonioli. She, she's up. done well at juniors. I don't know exactly what. She shot a ten to open up. My bad. And Marcella's done an awful lot. Well, Marcella Sonioli uh, won the World Cup final this year in Odense. Yes. Uh, her first World Cup final champion title, she um, appeared in four, I believe, one just in the mixed team event, so big from her. Second was called a 10 from Danelle. Tony Early drawing up for her second arrow. You'll see I was flicking between targets there a bit mm -hmm. terribly. And then nine. Two points down after two arrows, Danelle. Ranked 78th in the world, at 21 years of age. Shot a perfect 30 to open the match. Bonnie Early with her third arrow, at the first end. Ten. Good arrow. So, trailing by two. Depending on whether that second arrow of Tonioli's gets upgraded to a 10, and we'll find out from our judge shortly. So let's talk about Tonioli a bit. Ranked number four in the world. Uh, yeah, she, she found her first, uh, first big win in an individual uh, competition for a long time um, this year in you know, Odense. The last time she won an individual senior medal was in 2012 when she won the Shanghai stage of the World Cup. She's had quite a long career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's been shooting internationally since, well, since... And many medals on the list, many, yeah. many. Yeah, since like 2008, 2009, mm -hmm. I believe. And actually, the thing I remember about Marcella the most is that she won the mixed team compound world championships with Sergio Pagni two times in a row, the first two times it was ever, ever competed for, 2011, 2013. So, talented lady. Yes. Second end coming up. <laughs> Tonioli has the trailing archer, two points down to shoot first. She actually changed her hair colour recently. Yes, she's a blonde with some pepper wits. Yeah, it used to be blonde and blue. That full draw. She has her mouth open, which is unusual. Most archers have their teeth together and their mouth together for consistency. Shot 10 though, didn't she? Yep. First hour of the second end. Pencil, South African opponent. Another 10, that's a nice one. That's inside out, that's lovely. You, you're a recap actually, but you've been dabbling in compound every now and again, I, I've heard. Uh, I never got round to it. <laughs> <laughs> I've only ever shot like four shots with a compound and that was quite yeah. fast. Yeah, wide nine from Tonioli, just to the, the left of the ten ring. So she's had three, three nines in the first five hours. Vensel is still nice. perfect. Marcella needs to up again now. It's a ten. So now has a chance to make this a three point lead after six hours. That's just out, I believe. Been called in. 
we'll see what the judges have got to say. Yeah, there's no laser scoring indoors, um, not at the Indoor World Cup. It is, it is actually completely different from the Outdoor World Cup, of course, because anybody can enter. Yes, so we, we, we have, um, instead of competing for your nations, you're competing for yourself. You've competed at both. What's the difference in feeling between the indoor and the outdoor World Cups? Um, I'd say the, the outdoors probably have a lot more pressure and it's all for like national pride, I suppose. And the, the indoors is more friendly. Um, and I guess there's a, there's a lot more range of archers there from, you know, local archers who just practice three or four times a week to people that are, are truly professional and train all day every day. I, I think that's one of the most awesome things about this sport is that, uh, you know, whatever level you can go to one of these events and shoot next to an Olympia and shoot next, uh, or next to a world champion, uh, I think that's really cool. Yeah, it is. It's one of the really good things about our sport. It happens at, at home and, and abroad and at international events. So uh, Danelle's, Danelle's last arrow did get called out, did get taken down to a nine. So Tony only goes into the third end trailing by two points rather than three, but shoots a nine with her opening shot. I've noticed on uh, Venstel's bow, her, her arrow protrudes like an insane amount in the front of her bow. It's crazy. Yeah, and she's got a nine now. Wide nine. Her first, her first big, big nine of I the think match. In the rules, it's allowed to stick out five inches in front of the bow or something like that. Ten from Tony Early in the middle face. Inside out again. She's finding the middle. Lovely. Nice ten. Inside out on the middle face. Ten. From Tony Oli. So the cameraman gets a bit of work in there. Can't find his focus there. Another nine. wide nine. So that advantage that Rensel took into the third end is, is rapidly decreasing. If uh, Tony Oli's arrow gets marked up, it goes level. Otherwise, she trails by, by a point after nine. I suppose this shows uh, Marcella's experience that even though she was a few points down, she, she knows that she can fight and, and catch up. Yeah, and um, her, um, her World Cup, Hyundai World Cup final uh, gold medal match against Sarah Sonicson uh, in Odense was awesome. Their shoot off was really, really cool, very tense match. Um, so, you know, she's proven that she's a, she's a competitor, shall we say. What's your record in shoot-offs? I think it's quite good. Yeah? Of recent years, yes. 50-50. Well, well, is that not, good? Not, really not to compare, but if we look at Tony Oli's uh, tie-break wins percentage in our website, which uh, calculates all the matches we have in our database, a 78% win percentage okay. on a one-hour shoot-off. I mean, that's some grit. That is very good. It's probably not. Yeah, mine's not as good as that. <laughs> Not, compar not comparable. Yeah. Tony Early still trails by one, then that, that first arrow of that last end did not get upgraded. Six hours to go in this compound women's gold medal match. First arrow of the fourth end. Ten. Consult inside out ten. I've noticed the the judges have uh, changed the target faces. Got some fresh, fresh target yeah. faces on the board. Why would they do that in, in the middle of a match? Um, that's because a lot of the lines were shut out, and they need to be able to tell exactly whether an arrow is a nine or a ten, and they can't do that with with disturbed lines. Two tens apiece in this fourth end. It's only early up in her game, but went still matching it. Ten, ten, ten. First perfect thirty from Tony Oli in this match. Putting the pressure on a little bit. 
It is, because once she'll, she'll want to keep her lead. I know that, that, that can go quite quickly. She's got the answer, though. Another perfect 30 from Danelle. And Danelle's tens are good tens, they're not just tipping, they're like almost inside that. Is it the same thing in compound as, as in Rico? Would you say that you know when, when you're hitting that middle, it kind of gets into that groove where you can you can knock the exit, especially indoors that you're so close. Or is that just those those line cutters that they come into play? Yeah, um, especially you have those days where every hour just hits a line, and there's other days where all the hours are really close. And it's not do you shoot fat or thin eyes? I have thin eyes. I don't feel that I gain anything by shooting fat eyes. Because I think any, if I have a bad shot, then it will be worse and probably get more weight. So, it's balance. Absolutely. Fifth and final end of this Compound Women's Gold Medal match at the first stage of the 2016-2017 Indoor Archery World Cup in Marrakesh, Morocco. On early to shoot first and target two. Confident shot, but it's no. it's a dodgy one. I mean, you can't call that from back. I can. <laughs> Ten inside out again. Big turn from Tony Early, trailing, so she needs to hit the middle. It's a nine. Oh, it's a wrong square, no. Possibly or square, depending on the uh, that one eye. That's a big nine. Tend to be sure of win if, if that. If that nine stays a nine for Tony Early, she only needs a nine. When so, but I tend to be sure of taking this match. And a, and a big gold medal. That's a good shot. It's a ten, it must be. She knows. Ah, I'm not seeing the we, target. You can't see the target. <laughs> that must be your fault. Well, it's been scored ten. So, 146, 144, Danelle Vensel at 21 years of age. Never taken an international individual medal before. That was a really mature match by her. Very strong, sure, very strong. Well. Yeah, and to stay stay ahead when uh, when Tony Early started putting the pressure on, impressive.